there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. The mountains were not always high, the deserts not always dry. For beneath the sands of time, another country lies. The northern meltwaters from the Kunluan Mountains flow towards the searing Taklamakan Desert in the heart of Xinjiang. They supply the oasis that once made the stopping points on the southern Silk Road. In 1995, a team of archaeologists exploring the lost city of Kadota stumbled across a remarkable find. The site known today as the Niya Ruins yielded the coffin of a wealthy couple from the Han Dynasty. The man was found to be wearing an elaborate guard on his right arm, which was in near perfect condition. The arm guard consists of five layered brocade with six fastening straps. The brocade was finely decorated with five different colors of thread, blue, green, red, yellow, and white, woven into patterns of clouds, mountains, stars, grasses, beasts, and birds, a design that symbolizes paradise in Han Dynasty cosmology. Even more intriguing, on the upper and lower quadrants of the guard were eight characters, meaning five stars rising in the east favor the Middle Kingdom. The Middle Kingdom refers then, as now, to China. The five stars might refer to the planets, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and Saturn, which on rare occasion do all align to rise in the east. Five interwoven layers make up the piece. The introduction of colored threads builds the images and the characters. There are 220 warps and 48 wefts in each square centimeter of the brocade. The fineness of such a weave indicates the highest standards of craftsmanship in the second and third centuries. Four jacquard-type looms, unearthed from Lao Guanshan Han tomb at Chengdu, provide a clue as to this past craftsmanship. In 2018, China's National Silk Museum adopted the Han techniques to replicate the Five Stars brocade. After many months of effort, the images on the ancient brocade were laid anew before the eyes of the public. Silk traveled far from China, just as woolen fabrics journeyed from the West. They meet halfway, like the East and West winds, in the vast expanses of Central Asia. Among the relics of the Silk Road in Xinjiang, the brocade is not the only well-preserved item. There are many strange and exotic scenes foreign to Chinese eyes, a centaur, and a soldier on wool tapestry fabric, a fertile goddess on delicate cotton. All tell of the mixing of influences in those ancient desert kingdoms. The culture of our human world is woven from many different strands, east and west, south and north, the strange and the familiar. Lost and lonely in the desert sands are the fragments of history to remind us. All make but one whole fabric under heaven's eye.